illusion of massiveness with smallness which makes it look bigger than it really is. Hey Siri, how many Hello, it's been a while since I did this stuff. Today I think I'm doing a full day of pizza and I'm here, let's go. So I normally like to start my day off with coffee. And uh, how I have my coffee, it's with collagen and uh, oat milk. Only ex coffee experts would know about this blend. There's the oat edition, best oat milk in Canada, and collagen. And of course, the instant <laughs> coffee. So it's the Nescafe Pizza. coffee most important thing you should do if you don't have a full maker is to shake it up so I'm gonna do that now <laughs> And I'm having an apple for my carb sauce, 150 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs with some spinach, and two maple brown sausages. Get us off of the pedestal. If you see someone doing good, somebody accomplish something, somebody being successful, rather than tearing them down, saying they suck, it's all about HRT, they cheat, whatever. <laughs> Work harder and come and join them on that pedestal. Say, hey, how's it feeling up there? Greg speaking facts. Alright, um. Okay, hello, it's Mikhail again. So it's now um, 12, just past 12 30 a.m. Only had one meal so far. I'm just chilling, relaxing. And I didn't talk about the supplements I had after my meal, so. I have my omega-3, omega-369, and I have six capsules per day, and I have two after every meal. I have my multivitamins. I like to have gummies because, I mean, they taste really good, and I love sweets, so it's, like, really nice to just have, like, two a day. And I have my vitamin D3 because I'm in Canada, and literally, it's, like, there's no sun. Like, we have sunny weather two months per year, and we're approaching winter, and, like, there's, like, no sun, so, yeah. And I'm not trying to get depressed, because I know there's something called winter depression, if you haven't experienced it, and this is going to help that, as well as other benefits. So, those are my supplements, my omega-3, my multivitamins, my vitamin D, and I have my collagen with my coffee. <laughs> Okay, um, I just finished making meal number two, and right now it's 2.20 p.m., and I made, let me show you what it is. So, I made green beans, well, I didn't really make it, I just had to steam them, chicken, I think it's around 125 grams of chicken, and rice, in terms of, this is brown rice, and I would say it's around, like, the size of my hand, like my fist, and that's how much rice. I'm not sure how much grams of rice or the macros and stuff like that. I um I currently um I currently do intuitively eating. Well I eat intuitively, so when I'm hungry I eat and I'll actually get into that more later as soon as I'm finished eating this. Peace. Alright guys, so I'm just I just finished eating food and I did mention I'm gonna talk about the way I eat. 
in terms of intuitively eating and stuff like that and uh, CN Tower is right there and we have the lake and okay so in terms of intuitively eating I eat when I'm hungry every meal I eat I make sure there's a lean source of protein and uh, I make sure to get at least two servings of vegetables per day and at least two minimum two two servings of fruit per day and um, I'm into bodybuilding and gaining muscle mass and stuff like that so I try to eat four to five meals to increase mus muscle protein synthesis throughout the day and that's gonna help me be in a more optimal state in terms of gaining muscle and yeah um what I would say is that um in order to get into intuitively eating and in order to be successful at it I would say have an experience in terms of tracking macros so I used my fitness pal so I would say if you could get at least one to two months experience in terms of tracking macros on this application as I said my fitness pal just search it up on the app store and you can find it it's free and just learn how to use it and I would say just spend a minimum of one to two months on it it's been a while since I did this YouTube thing and what I would say I mean I think it's been like three years since I last posted a video well I mean I know for sure it's been three years and it's a bit awkward like speaking to a camera but I actually have a bit of experience being in front of cameras so like in terms of being in front of the camera it's not that awkward it's just the speaking part and the reason why I'm not that awkward just being in front of the camera is because I got into modeling over a year ago so I just have like a lot of experience in terms of being in front of the camera but in terms of speaking to the camera it's a bit weird so I'm gonna have to get used to that yeah it's a bit weird and yeah I actually um I'm actually kind of enjoying making this video surprisingly I got up this morning and I just really didn't want to do it but I was like you know what Mikhail get in that uncomfortable zone and just get it done get it done you could do it and here I am so yeah i really hope this video turns out well hey yo so just woke up from a nap it's now 4 51 and i'm about to have a little snack make sure to have your naps naps are anabolic as fuck recovery is so important and i had such a shitty sleep last night so i thought i'll just catch up today with an hour nap i think it was an hour or maybe like 45 minutes but yeah so I'm about to have a snack and I'm having a protein bar and a banana and I'm about to train a client online. Yep. I think this is my third meal and it's now, it's just about 7 p.m. And yeah, I'm just going to show you what I'm eating. So... I have tofu, I think it's around, I would say 120 grams of tofu, firm, extra firm or firm, I don't like my tofu soft or medium. I have, how much potatoes is this? I think it's around 300 grams of potatoes and some broccoli. And yeah, I like to um, drown my potatoes in extra hot frank sauce and I'm watching some Greg Doucette. And after that, I think I'm, I'm gonna train. This guy, Greg Doucette, is so smart. Oh my God, like you can learn so much from him. But if it's one take point that you should get from him is that really invest into eating low calorie dense foods. That's actually what I do. And it makes reaching your fitness goals so much easier. So yeah, really look into eating low dense calorie foods. It's now, it's now 11.36 p.m. So it's kind of late and I'm having my fourth and last meal and I'm just gonna show you what it is. So I got French toast, four slices of bread, got some blueberries, some bananas, two maple brown sugar breakfast sausages. And I add, some Aunt Jemima, 50% less calorie syrup, and some coconut whipped cream, which has like the craziest macros. Look at that. 
25 calories per four tablespoons. So I just realized while I was editing my video, I forgot to do an outro, so I'm doing that now. So for closing remarks, I'd just like to say, um, reason why I push intuitively eating because I believe it's very sustainable. And uh, um, I know there may be some cons, but I think it's very sustainable and I would just push it to anyone who's into fitness and just reaching any fitness goals, whether that is losing weight or gaining weight. And what else I would like to say? Um, and yeah, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe and comment on whatever you'd like to see next video. Thank you for watching.